Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Abacus 5 light. This is going to be the 139050. This won a very prestigious design award. You can check that out on Hubbardton Forge's own website. Let's dive into details on this. So this is a low voltage LED, dedicated LED fixture and I'll go over a lot of that information with you now. Let's talk about the size of the fixture to begin with. So this is going to be 41 inches wide and remember it's linear and then the depth of it is going to be the size of the sphere it's 5.5 inches uh, overall height now you're talking about the distance from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture and this can be varied quite a bit so this you can use this as a semi flesh coming down as short as 20 inches or you can bring it down as long as a hundred you'll notice how this kind of works are those glass spheres that have the light source in them have ends on them those ends have releases and during your installation you're going to be feeding cables into the ends of these by pushing in to release and bringing it up and down and kind of getting them to where you want them to be and then you're going to let go of the release and they'll stay exactly where you want them to be uh, so you can really do some beautiful design work with this i would i would spend a lot of time just kind of maybe even mocking it up because you could do uh you can do some great things. Let's talk about the canopy up in the ceiling. I want to show you more information about that um, and really get you into the details on this by looking at the installations instructions. So if you're on the page for this on our website, look over here midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. Not only is it going to talk to you about how you put it together, which is very simple, but it's also going to talk to you about and show you line drawings and schematics of the actual canopy itself. That canopy up on the ceiling is 4.5 inches wide and it's 41 inches long. It's going over a standard junction box and you'll see there's other places where it can attach to your ceiling as well. Coming in at 26.8 uh, pounds, so it's not overly heavy. Slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees, those of you guys have slopes. You'll probably want to call me about that too, just to talk about how it's going to hang from a slope ceiling if you go that way. Um, going back to the canopy for a second, inside of that is going to be a transformer that's going to transform the voltage from your line voltage down to low voltage, which is going to be going down those cables, very safe, that's the beauty of the low voltage, going into those, those spheres. Those spheres have dedicated LED bars on the inside. You can see right next to me there is a schematic uh, photograph that's a cutaway and it's going to show you kind of what's basically inside of this and those are the strips of LED bars inside. And what's inside of those are, well, remember you have five of these, <clears throat> each of those is going to be a three watt strip of LEDs. All together you've got a thousand lumens coming out of this. So that's quite a bit of light. You'll want to put it on a dimmer. You can tell your installer that it's uh, dimmable LEDs. They'll have to put the correct dimmer on the wall for that. A good thing to do is to take this video and also the uh, uh, link. You can just grab the link for the install instructions and you can take those two things and shoot them over to your installer and they can get a good idea of how everything goes together. Let's also talk about the glass options on this. So you'll notice you've got two. You have the cool, clear, cool gray. So that's going to be a clear piece of glass sphere that you're going to be able to see into and then you'll see that white frosted uh, bar inside that's holding the LEDs. The other option is going to be opal. And our opal glass is basically an opaque white glass and then you can't see through it at all. So those are your two there. Uh, finish. So I'll talk about more about finishes in a second but uh, finishes are going to be the finish for the ceiling canopy itself and then the end caps that we talked about just a second ago. And then you remember at the end of this whole equation once you get everything where it's going to be you're going to be snipping those cables and putting those balls on. The balls are actually weighted balls and they're going to keep everything hanging nice and straight. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmadeInVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video. So it's really important that you kind of watch the video, use the chart. You can click on that chart on different things. So you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke. Click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron, it'll do the same thing. But it's really important that you understand how Hubbardton Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different, on different fixtures. 
Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hoverton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubberton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.